Good morning, Byram Schools. And welcome back to the Byram News Network. My name is Lily. And I'm Alex. Today is Monday, April 9th, 2018. It is an A-Day. Welcome back from spring break. We hope you are all rested and ready to finish out the rest of our year. Students looking to visit the Zen Zone during lunch, here's this week's schedule. The calendar is also posted in the main office window, so make sure you check it out each day to see its availability. Track team, your first practice is tomorrow after school until 5 p.m. Make sure you have a ride ready to pick you up at 5. Also make sure you check with Mrs. Rafferty to make sure you're all clear to attend the first practice. Today's band lessons are advanced flu flutes period 2, beginner clarinets period 4, advanced clarinets period 7, and French horns period 9. Tuesday's band lessons are Beginner Trombones, Period 2, Advanced Trombones, Period 4, and Beginner Band, Period 7. Drama Club, your next rehearsal is tomorrow after school. The Education Foundation is hosting a tricky tray on April 14th. Please begin donating items to the box in your morning meeting rooms. Now let's get into today's segments. Drama Club, there's one more announcement for you. T-shirt order forms are available on the call board and on the Drama Club website. Orders are due by April 11th when we return from break. Hey guys, we're outside the Lake School. We heard it's drop everything in read day, so we're going to see just how much reading is going on. Let's go inside. Byron Lakes, it's drop everything in read time. Bring your stuffed animal and a couple of good books into the hallway and make a reading train. Um, we will begin in about one minute and we'll read for 10 minutes. So it's drop everything in read time. Happy birthday, Dr. Seuss. What are you with? Um, my favorite book is um, Wacky Wednesday, and my favorite author and illustrator is Dr. Seuss. Because um, because he always makes funny words and does funny things. My name is him, and my second favorite. My name is Sam, and. And I like to be in this and I like it because I, I like Dr. Seuss. All right. So, what book did you guys bring, and is it your favorite book? Yes. Cat in the Hat. Green eggs and ham. Green eggs and ham. That's your favorite. Right. Do you guys enjoy reading? Yes. Why do you like reading? Because it's the funny things. Because yeah. it's the funny things. Because you get to make noises. Cool. So, what book did you guys read? I read I Survived the Chicago Fire of like 19... I can't remember, like 62 or something. No, not 62. I read Kai the Ninja Fire. I read The Audition. I read 100 most scariest things on the planet. Are those your guys' favorite books? Um, well, it's not my favorite book, but I just, I forgot to bring a book, but I always keep this little stuffed animal in my jacket, and since I have them, I just brought them. It's not my favorite book, but it's one of my, it's one of, it's a good book. It's my favorite book. I started it yesterday, and I can't stop reading it. <laughs> It's probably not my favorite book, but um, probably one in the series, so it's a series, but um, a book in my favorite series, so. Right. So do you guys enjoy reading? Why or why not? I enjoy reading just that it basically pumps my mind up because like after that I just, I'm, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to do everything. Yeah, I enjoy it because it's fun and you, it's interesting, it depends on the book you're reading. I love reading, it runs my family because it just lets me uh, cool off after a long day. Yeah, I pretty much agree with all of them. I feel like if you read like a magical book or something, like you get sucked in, like here and there. Um, and an informational book, I don't really know how to describe it, but it's like you can learn new things, so it's great. Thanks, guys. Look, it's Elbow. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Teacher tours. Teacher tours. Teacher tours. Um, what is your name and what is your role in Byram School? So I'm Mr. Linsky and I am the eighth grade math and algebra one teacher. Um, where did you graduate from in college? I graduated from Rutgers University for my undergraduate and I graduated from Seton Hall University for my master's. Um, if you weren't a teacher or an educator, what um, do you think you would be doing? Uh, if I wasn't a teacher, I would love to work in construction. Uh, my dad had worked in construction and owned his own construction company. Uh, so that's kind of what I really wanted to do when I was younger. And then it just morphed into wanting to teach at some point. Oh, that's um, what is one of your hidden talents? Um, so some of the teachers may know this, but I don't know if all the students do. I love to bake, uh, which is a little something that you wouldn't expect from me maybe. Uh, but my wife and I bake cookies that are the best cookies in the world. I don't care what anybody else says. They are the best and I've never had anybody disagree. And I know Fellini's parents make really good cookies too, but I'm willing to battle if she wants to battle over it. Um, do you have a favorite sport? Uh, absolutely baseball. Um, I love baseball and I always have loved baseball. I, I think it's a little boring to watch sometimes, but a good game is can really suck you in. Um, what is your favorite team? My favorite team is the Yankees, because uh, they're the best, so sorry Mr. Gallagher, but the Yankees are way better. Uh, how do you spend your summer breaks? Uh, summer breaks, I don't do anything particularly crazy, I just like to spend time with family. Um, and my in-laws have a pool, so I'm really excited to, to spend time with my family in their pool this year. Um, and just, just hang out and have a good time. Um, what's your favorite book or movie? Like. Oh, my favorite movie is uh, The Rookie. I think The Rookie's a, an awesome movie. It's cool because it's a teacher that beca that gets to play baseball. Uh, so it's just kind of a fun, fun movie. Um, what makes a good day at school? A good day uh, is I just like seeing my students smile. Um, I know a lot of people talk about that light bulb moment. Uh, the math is great, but I, I'm more concerned with eighth graders being happy. Uh, in school and learning at the same time. So I like when the students are engaged and having a good time while they're learning. Um, how do you show your school spirit? Um, so school spirit, I think me just being here is my school spirit. Uh, as a former student of Byram, I, I feel so much pride that I, I came back and really wanted to teach here. Um, are there any embarrassing teaching moments that you are willing to share? So my most embarrassing teaching moment happened this year. I wasn't necessarily teaching, but it was after soccer practice when I slipped on an Expo marker and sprained my ankle. That's pretty embarrassing. Um, if you could enroll in another teacher's class um, for a day or longer, whose would it be? I would enroll in Mrs. Phillips' class because she comes up with some crazy and cool activities for her students and I, I think it would be fun and I would enjoy to have a class like that, uh, just where there's a lot of competition without her even really meaning to have competition. And lastly, what's your, um, what do you think your spirit animal is? Uh, spirit animal I would probably say is a dog um, because dogs are always like happy and like, I don't know, I just try to stay happy at all times and I've never met a a not happy dog. Even mean dogs are happy, usually. Okay, thank you. Teacher tours. Teacher tours. That's it for Monday's episode. We end today with a quote of the day. Whenever you find yourself doubting how far you can go, just remember how far you've come. Remember everything you faced, all the battles you have won, and all the fears you had to overcome. Make it a great day, Byram, or not, the choice is yours!